It's pretty messy in here. I'll try to open up the lighting too so you can see a little better. A million dollar view without the million dollar price tag. Waking up in a new spot all the time is yeah, pretty awesome. That's nice. What's been dubbed van life is becoming more and more appealing, especially in beach towns like San Diego. Right now, you can find people living out of their cars all over the city. Some prefer a parking lot in Ocean Beach, right next to the surf. Yeah, I love living in a van. It allows me to uh, expand my horizons and follow my dreams. In February, City Council repealed an ordinance which banned people from living in their vehicles. The repeal was aimed at keeping people safe who would otherwise be forced to sleep on the street. However, due to the lack of affordable housing in the city, some have decided to use the repeal to bypass rent and opt for mobile living. One of the reasons why I chose to live in a van was to be able to help other people, but also it was because I was very unsatisfied with my life because I was, you know, in my, when I was 24, 25, I was working in restaurants and um, all I could really do was pay my bills and, you know, I could go buy I could, I could go buy a video game or a case of beer, but I couldn't really afford anything else. Our philosophy is more so just like focusing on building a foundation that's more tangible and that we can create for ourselves rather than like uh, paying somebody rent for something that we're never gonna own. It's a way of life that's allowed these three travelers to not only see the country for the last several years, but escape the norms of suburban living. I felt very confined, and when I told my friends about how I felt confined, nobody understood me at the time. So I met some travelers, and um, I hit the road. I get along with people who live in vans more than I get along with anybody. I do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> I really love this lifestyle, I think because of the amount of self-growth that I experience within myself. Growth is one thing, but what is it actually like to live in your van? I've gone through a few different vans and um, it just takes a while to find the right van and to find the right routine. And it's really easy to live in a van. It's also really hard. It's got a bed in the back, hardwood floor, um, some cabinets to hold my books. And I keep all my kitchen gear in the back so I can just open it up, pull everything out, cook a delicious meal for me or my friends. And, um, it gets horrible gas mileage. It gets messy every day, so we have to clean every day. There's a lot of challenges with the mechanics that we don't have money to pay for mechanics, so we learn these things on our own, and we're building out the bus, so we learn electrician, we learn plumbing, we learn carpentry. All these things we're teaching ourselves to, to provide a more sustainable future. But sustaining a life on a bus means being a little more creative. My favorite way to support myself is by making art and selling it. And we're going to finish out like our little studio space right here for creating. And yeah, we got to do finish out the cabinet. The library up front. <laughs> we asked the beach dwellers if they would ever abandon the van life and go back to mainstream living. The answer? was no. There's a part of me that kind of misses the luxuries of like having a, a set spot, but like my house moves. And I've met all my best friends here, all my loved ones, um, and I gain new skills, you know, and when I come here and um, my dog loves it because there's a dog beach. So I come back here every winter. I love it so much.